Day and a big welcome back to Howard Garrett, the Dirt Doctor. We're talking about, it's nice to see this rain because it's filling up the lakes a little bit. Absolutely. Taking a little bit of pressure off my yard and my lawn and my little vegetable garden, but um, you still need to be careful. You got some great tips about, about watering wisely. Well, I think uh, water is our biggest environmental issue. I really do. And I think it's going to get worse uh, as time goes on. And there's a, a several good tips. We've been talking about sprinkler systems. Right. My favorite way to go is to put the sprinkler system on manual so it only works when you push the button. Right. The really smart systems like you do that uh, read the weather forecast and shut off, that's great. The worst watering that's done, some of my neighbors do mm -hmm. it, a little bit of water every day. So worst thing you can do. 15 minutes every day at the same time. Absolutely Terrible worst, idea. Right. Worst thing. Because what it does is it keeps the water all up in the uh, top few inches of the ground. Well, the plants adapt to that and have their roots mm -hmm. up there uh, sh in a shallow uh, manner so that when it dries out, they get in trouble quicker, right. they lose plants faster. Another important part of the program is to plant native plants mm -hmm. and plants that are adapted and behave themselves here in our area. And, and and one of the things is you you may not you may or may not find it some of the big you know we we typically uh, us mere mortals go to these big box retailers where they may not have the kind of plants you're talking about you might have to go hunt and seek the kind of the those that's a, plants that's a great thing to uh, tell people go to the independent garden centers mm -hmm. they'll have the native plants they'll have the better adapted plants and they'll also have the answers to questions if you get in trouble right let's talk about what you ought to be doing sure. in addition to watering water deep uh, you know, where I live, it's once every two weeks right now. They're talking about going to once a week. But water it deep. Best time of day? Worst time of day? Oh, uh, the best time of day is uh, at night or just before morning so it's cool and so the water won't evaporate and water heavily. Let it really soak mm -hmm. in. Then go as long a period of time as you can, like you're saying you do, uh, before you water again. Right. So, and, and, and sometimes it'll, you'll start to get that runoff. So maybe what you want to do as a zone is do five minutes, do the next zone, come back to this one after it's had a chance to soak in a little in bit? In the beginning, that's the best thing to yeah. do. But one of the most important parts of saving water is to use this organic technique that we use, organic fertilizers and amendments. Very important. And the soil changes texture and that water soaks in a whole lot better. When you're using the high nitrogen salt fertilizers, mm -hmm. the soil tilt is not good and they tend to run off. I, I think you're, you're turning me into a believer. I hope so. I've <laughs> which, been working on it. Which for me is really saying something. You are going to be at a big show this uh, weekend, the Plano Looking New Home to. and Remodeling Show this weekend, Saturday and Sunday at the Plano Center on Spring Creek. Howard's there on Saturday, 11 o'clock, for a presentation, signing books, including this one, Organic Lawn Care. Uh, you're going to find a link to the Dirt Doctor website and the Plano Home Show on fox4news.com when you click on links. Thanks a bunch. Enjoy Thanks being with you. you.